throughout the walk, those that were participating were, were chanting things um, and people that were surrounding them in the academic mall were responding to that, which tells me that there was a good response and that it was well received the walk through the campus community that day. The march was engaging those that participated. There was an energy involved. So as part of the uh, first SB week of service, we wanted to incorporate a way that students could get involved on campus and give back to the community. And it may not be your additional, your traditional thinking of, you know, um, service, but we wanted to give students an opportunity to, to give back to the community while they were here on campus. It's really important that we educate ourselves on power-based personal violence and realize that like we can actually stop it from happening. But I would say that it's important that they hear out student voices. That's I think the number one concern that I have. Um, right now, consent is defined from the university as being a negation or the act of saying no. Um, and they're working to change that right now. Um, but it's really important that it's more of a yes means yes instead of a no means no. Uh, because then if someone doesn't say no, they're like, well, you didn't say no, so, you know, you're at fault now, which is completely crazy to think about. So Light in the Dark is a bystander intervention awareness campaign. So these pamphlets contain strategies for how to be a good bystander. And we also have these glow sticks on them, which are sort of the, the sugar that helps the medicine go down. So we go out and we give people these glow sticks and we ask them to wear them in solidarity of survivors of sexual assault. And over a, lo over a long time, um, glow sticks have sort of become a symbol for that and people kind of recognize the message behind it. And people will bring these to parties and they'll talk about why they got the glow sticks and it sort of just burgeons out from there. So I think it should be a pressing issue for everyone because if you look at the statistics, one in five women will be sexually assaulted on, cal um, on a college campus. And for men, to like one in 72. Okay. I think our calendar this month and the events as a whole really, I mean, it, I think it's done a great job of conveying where the students are at, where the professionals are at, and, and where we're kind of meeting together. Again, the general level of knowledge and awareness seems much higher than when I was a college student. It has reached a, a tipping point where people are no longer saying, oh, it happened, it's happened behind closed doors. Victims are no, means victims are feeling empowered to come out and say what's happening to them and kind of really be in the forefront talking about what is going on. Right? Students, because the national media attention, students are, are like, wow, this is happening. We, I want to participate. I want to be a part of this movement. So students who had done these works singularly in their own little clubs and organization, suddenly finding a space to come together and saying, let's do this work together. So I think providing that forum has happened more so than we have done before. It just is a time when people had enough and they're saying this is no longer acceptable, we want our campuses free of violence, we want equal rights for everyone on our campus.